Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something quite special. I'm going to make a huge, mega, ultimate, massive, giant sausage roll. And a quick shout out to Wizzy and Andy, my new Patreon fans. Thank you, I appreciate it. And if anybody else wants to Patreonise me, feel free. Thank you. I just saw a recipe for, for this in a book uh, a week or so ago and it looked fantastic and I was wondering is, is that actually a thing and uh, it turns out it is you know most of the major supermarkets sell something along these lines it's a great looking centerpiece to stick in the middle of your table so I'm going to be concentrating on the way it looks uh, as, as much as how it tastes obviously so if you enjoy this video give it a like share subscribe etc and let's get on with it giant humongous mega ultimate really big sausage roll log. So I'm going to start by making the pastry. I'm going to use savoury short crust. Uh, obviously you can buy pastry ready-made and that's fine but uh, I, I, well, I just enjoy making pastry so there you go. Many people would say that for sausage rolls you should use flaky or puff pastry and I, yeah I just don't like it. So I'm using this short crust pastry that isn't going to explode when you bite into it, but it will be crispy and lovely. What you need, 250 grams of plain all-purpose flour, 125 grams of butter, uh, chilled and cut into little bits, one egg beaten, and a teaspoon of salt, and 60 grams-ish of cold water. In reality, just enough to bring it together into a ball. So uh, we'll start by Mixing in the salt. And then gradually work in the butter by rubbing it with our fingertips until it looks like sand. So uh, come back in half an hour, eh? So something like that. Make a well in the centre and pop the egg in. So eggs are about 75% water, so if you, if you omit the egg, you would need to add more water. Now we'll add the other water. And that last drop. Now I'll just wrap the dough in our beloved cling film. <laughs> and stick it in the fridge to chill for about half an hour. Now for the filling, you want 700 grams of sausage meat and uh, you can get that in three ways. So you can buy really good sausages and just get the meat out of the skins and throw the skins away. Or you can buy sausage meat frozen, which a general guy find to be not really good. Or you can make your own. I've made my own and the recipe is exactly what I did for when I made Cumberland sausages. So I'll link to that up there. And down in the description below. So our old friend cling film. Honestly, I made such a song and dance out of giving up using this stuff last year. I need I need it in lots of recipes. So uh, that's kind of embarrassing, really. Okay, we need a big, humongous, mega ultimate roll of filling. Okay, and you need to chill that down till it's pretty firm. So I'm going to put it in the freezer, not to freeze it, but just to, to make it firm enough so it'll hold its shape when I take the film off. All right, I'm going to roll out some of the pastry, about two thirds of it. It's a bit sticky, so it's, uh, I think it's okay to add a bit of extra flour. I'm rolling this out into a rectangle, which is, well, I know that the the length of the sausage roll filling is 23 centimetres, which is 9 inches, so that's how wide it needs to be. And then the length, just enough to go around it once. Actually it needs to be a little bit wider because I'm going to fit some end caps onto it. Okay, so just 
pop the filling on the pastry and roll it up. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was close. Actually, I'm going to patch it a little bit. Moisten the edge with water. And then smooth it down with your fingers so that the seam is less apparent, even though, you know, we're going to put that on the bottom anyway. Now I'm rolling out some pastry for the end caps and I'm going to use this little cutter ring. That's 8 centimetres, 3 inches. We wet the edge and then just pop it in and press it together around the edge. Now I'm just going to wrap this up and pop it in the fridge for another half hour to firm up again. Alright, there's the log, the very large sausage roll. So I'm just going to, well I want a real shine on it so I've got two egg yolks beaten and I'm just going to paint it with that as thinly as I can. There it is in all its yellow glory. So now I'm going to uh, wrap that with a, a lattice overlay. Yes. So I've got a bit more pastry. I'm just going to roll this out as thin as I can. While you're doing this, you need to get your oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven. That's 200 for a conventional one, and that is, I believe, gas six. Okay, so I've got myself a new toy. It's a lattice roller. Um, and I'll put links somewhere to where you can buy it. It's a good idea to roll your pastry out longer than you need it and start a bit in so you can hold down that end and stop it wrapping itself around the roller, which is what it tends to want to do. Press down as hard as you can to make sure it goes all the way through. and then tease it apart. Right, this was uh, harder than I expected. <laughs> but we keep trying, as always. So now I'm going to glaze it. And this glaze is the two egg whites with the remaining, probably half a yolk mixed in. So I'll get a contrast in the finish between this and what's underneath. All right. <laughs> I have no idea if this will work, but I'll try it and I'll find out. Mm. Well, that would have worked if, um, oh, if it hadn't stuck to itself. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. That's, um, not exactly what I wanted, obviously, but still a bit spectacular. Okay, quite pleased with that actually. So that goes in the oven for 40 minutes and I'll turn it round halfway through. Actually that took more like 50 minutes, so maybe you could um, use a slightly higher temperature if you wanted to or cook it for 50 minutes. Good reveal time, let's cut him open. Ooh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks brilliant. And now it's taste of time with <gasps> This is Keith Cooks. He's done sausage roll. Oh wow, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you. Cool. She was present at the uh, difficulty of, um, you know, doing that. I didn't know how he was going thing. to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't either. There you go. That's yours. Oh yeah. Or do you want half of it? Or, or? I think half of it, yeah. 
Oh yeah. With a bit of mustard. I ought to try it without the mustard. Doing well today. Lunch was um, some terrine from when you did that uh, three bird roast. It worked. Mm hmm. Mm, I've had some. It's mm. amazing. And the jelly and everything. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Pastries marvellous, of course. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's really good. It is. Yeah, it needs jelly to glue it in. I was just thinking after the other thing. You know, it was so nice with the jelly, but no, I think this is fine just the way it is. Oh yeah, that's that's not your average sausage roll. That's really good. <laughs> Whether you do the lattice or not, when the days come again, will we go and have picnics? Take take a giant sausage roll with you. <laughs> wow, your friends. <laughs> the envy of your entire social circle. Mm. Right then. Shall I stop eating and? <laughs> Wave bye bye. If you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you next time.